G'day everyone, it's Joe Sweeney here from Story Weaver Games. Um, over the weekend, I got a really interesting email from Gabrielle, a fellow cartographer. And they were asking me, how do we modify a landmass once we've already put it on the map? This can occur once you've drawn your map and you've put a few things on it, and then you suddenly realize you would like an extra peninsula or maybe a cove or whatever into your map. Um, and the answer to that is it's absolutely possible to modify that landmass. The reality is it's it's a little bit on the tricky side. So I've decided rather than trying to describe everything just to give you a video that shows you how to do it. So I've got a, a standard uh, 1800 um, uh, cartography map here, overland map here. I'm going to click on the standard uh, tool for drawing um, land masses. I'm going to start at the edge and I'm going to draw a very sort of blob and <laughs> dull looking landmass across my map like so. So there's our landmass. That's what we're going to start with. Now let's say we wanted to put a little peninsula that came out here. How do we do that? There's no way of modifying this land just by default. Well, what we need to do is we need to um, basically pull apart this, this entity that you've got that is created, that's been created here. And there's actually two entities. There's the little blue outline, which has been created, and then and that is literally a multi-poly fractal, sorry, a polyfractal. And then you've got this multi-poly, which has been created from the fractal. So there's two elements there. The first thing I like to do whenever working on a specific element like this is hide everything else that I don't need. So I'm gonna click on the layers. I'm only interested in my coast and sea. So make sure you've got that selected and then go, hide all that will hide every other element that is not a coastline that's just left us with the the multi-poly fractal shape there and the, the the blue line now what i want to do is i want to delete that blue line so to do that uh, i'm going to click the delete button here i'm going to select the edge now you notice this is giving me two items so what's happened now is because both of these items are right on top of each other of course I can only select them at both to fine-tune that selection I'm going to right click click on combine and select and so now I'm having campaign cartographer start to do a bit of thinking a bit of programmatic thinking about what to delete I'm then going to right click and I'm going to select color so now once I've got the color dialog there I let right click again and you select the color of that blue outline and I've ascertained that that is actually color 70 so click on go now you can see I've only got one item selected if I now clicked do it and refresh you'll see that the little blue line the little blue coastline has disappeared leaving us only with the land mass so now we've isolated the piece of the drawing that we want to work on the next thing to do is explode it. And there's multiple ways of exploding stuff. I find the easiest is just to type the word explode. <laughs> then you select the element that you want to explode. I've selected one and you click do it. And voila, you've now got this broken down into uh, effectively a multi-poly line, sorry, a fractal line uh, connected to two straight lines. The multi-poly has been exploded into its constituent parts. Now let's zoom in on the place where we would like to put our little peninsula. Here's one. And the next thing that we need to do is break this line up. Use this one. So we're gonna break this line. We'll break it from here to here. Now I can start to remove parts of that line. It actually breaks it up into little sections. There we go go a bit further down excellent and if I click do it I now have an area where I can start to adjust my map now it's really important that you make sure that you've got the coast and sea as your selected area because that's the only thing which is going to be visible uh, I'm going to zoom in uh, relatively close on this piece because we want to make sure that we've got these lines just perfect then what I'm going to do is select the fractal path tool I'm going to select the endpoint tool to make sure I connect exactly to that endpoint like so. There we go. And we'll just draw our little path. Draw our little path down here and again use the on endpoint command to fasten it like so. 
There, now we've got our land. It's, it's a strange bit of land, but this is really just to illustrate the, the techniques. Before I do the multi-poly pool, I'm gonna make a copy of this because we want that blue line to go back. Um, I'm gonna turn the grid snaps on and I'm also going to turn ortho on. And we'll just move this line out of the way for the moment. We'll come back to that in a second. Now what we're going to do is turn this back into our landmass by using the multi-poly tool, click on do it. It's now empty, so we need to use the change property tool. Now notice it's now being treated as one item rather than a whole bunch of little separate lines. I'm gonna click on do it. I'm going to change the fill style to being uh, land light green. Bingo, we've got our landmass now changed. Now let's go back to this piece here and we'll also make it into a multi-poly so it'll be easier to work with. Click on do it, change the properties of it to being say uh, the color 70. We'll also change the line width. I'm gonna make it say, uh, I'm doing a guess there as five. Uh, the field style is, is going to be hollow. The line width is solid. There's our, our um, beautiful coastline. I'm now going to move this by clicking on here, do it. We've still got the ortho set, so this should be quite easy to move into place because we've got the grid snap on. Voila. And now we can turn everything back on, show all, and our landmass has been created. So it's a little bit of work, but it's absolutely possible. The key techniques are to isolate just the landmass, explode it, trim off the sections that you want to cut, draw a new fractal path, making sure you use those endpoint connectors. If you don't use those, you're going to have problems. And then uh, take a copy of that for the coastline, then re-poly, um, uh, multi-poly the land, make sure the fills are correct, go back and get the coast, re-multi-poly that, make sure it's just a blue line and bring them back together again. So it's relatively simple, but it does take a little bit of thinking on how to do it. So Gabrielle, I hope that answers your question. Please keep the questions coming. Uh, love them when they go up on, um, on our Facebook page so that everyone can see the questions that are being asked. Again, the uh, website address for that is www.facebook.com slash storybeavergames. Um, don't forget, send me examples of your work as well. We love to look at these. Cheers, bye.